Hello and welcome to another JavaScript vignette. This is Tyson Cadenhead and um, today we're going to be looking at uh, debugging stuff in uh, React Native. So here I have um, my iPhone emulator and um, I can actually open the debugger by hitting Command Control Z and that opens uh, all this stuff. So first of all you see I can reload things so like if I wanted to make a change I could say uh, Star Wars app exclamation points. Um, actually my Remote debuggers on, so um, so I say Star Wars app, and then I uh, and then I refresh it um, by hitting hitting reload, and then it refreshes the content. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, but something that's even better is if I, I enable live reload, and that way I can just say Star Wars app with some exclamation points, and it reloads itself um, without me having to do anything, which is a lot easier. Um, as a development workflow so that you can be making changes all the time and it'll just refresh as the changes are made. Even better than that, of course, is a uh, live reload, or hot reloading, I mean, which um, is like live reload, except it's just switching out um, the things that you change, but not reloading the entire app. It's just uh, uh, so it'll keep the state, like if you drill down into a certain, uh, like if you change the state of a component by opening a modal or something like that, it'll it'll keep that open but it'll just swap out the whatever things you're changing as you do them. So those are the three ways you can refresh the app. Um, next of all, we have um, we can we can um, enable our inspector by hitting toggle inspector here, and uh, that will allow us to uh, to uh, do performance things, um, inspect different elements, things like that. So we'll toggle that back. And then um, one other thing is that you can uh, debug the JavaScript remotely. And this is probably the most handy thing. So uh, this will open a new Chrome tab. And so um, what we do is we it tells us that we need to open our developer tools. So we'll open that up. And you can see here that. Uh, it says hello, and that's because right here I'm lo console.logging hello. So if I remove that, it'll refresh and no longer say it. So um, you, you can log things and they'll go here. Um, you can, as errors occur and things like that, like it'll all show up in your in your console. And so this is kind of where where you catch all your all of your logging and anything that you need to happen to see what's going on in the life cycle of your of your app. So this is really handy, and you'll probably end up using this quite a bit. There's also a uh, a, a project or an app called uh, React Native Debugger, and it's similar to using your your uh, Chrome console. But um, if you just open this and then and then uh, run the, the debugger, it'll open things in here instead of in your console window, and uh, it's just a little bit nicer of an experience. It'll it'll uh, basically do all the same things, but it doesn't throw little warnings if you go to a different window and it's running in the background and things like that. So uh, I, I highly recommend downloading this and I'll definitely put a link to this in, in the uh, notes to this episode. So anyway, that's basically uh, the quick and dirty of debugging in React Native and uh, in the next video we're going to look at actually starting to build something with it.